Welcome to Pro Tools Expert. My name's Dan Cooper, and this is the Tegla Audio Schwercraft machine, loosely translated the heavy force machine. Now, let me tell you, that description ain't far wrong. Now, this has 11 different compressor modes housed in this rather beautiful 3U chassis. Now, Tegla Audio are quite cool because what they'll do is they'll lend you one of these units to try in your studio for yourself for up to two weeks. I've had this a little bit longer than that. So I don't know if I've been cheeky or uh, Tegla have been very, very patient. I think it's the latter. But I've got to be honest, I've had this for nearly four months now and I've fallen in love with it. I mean, seriously, sparks are flying between us here. So let's take a little look at the face of the unit. And I'm going to give you three seconds to spot what's missing. Nope, didn't think you'd see it straight away. It's the ratio control. Hasn't got one, but it doesn't matter. We've got an input, threshold, attack release. On the right, we've got a dial to select between the different compressor modes, sidechain filter control, absolutely love that, parallel mix knob, and an output dial as well. And in the middle of this unit, we've got this beautiful LCD display. And it's brilliant. It's got a really wide viewing angle. I mean, I can see it clearly from this angle looking at it. The glare from the studio lights here doesn't affect it. It's great. So let's run some audio through this. And let's start with drums, why not? And this has got a compressor mode called Drum Smasher. Now the unit's in bypass here, we can engage that. Now it's worth noting first of all that we've got the side chain set to this little flat symbol here. This means that the entire frequency range will hit the threshold, thus everything getting compressed. If we dial this back, say 300 hertz, anything below 300 hertz won't touch that threshold, which is great for reducing that pumping effect that you can get when you're working with compression. And as well, you can turn it the other way around past the standard threshold line there to compress the top ends. But to start with, let's compress everything. Okay, let's start with the threshold. Let's lower that. Speed up the attack. Slow the release. Increase the output. Okay, let's slow the attack down now. Let some of those transients through. Speed up the release. Right, let's really crush it. Lower the threshold. Now let's stop the kick drum from pumping this. Let's use the side chain. You can hear the kick drum sounding more natural, but the top ends, upper mids, getting nice and crushed. Sounds great. Love this thing. Now, if you don't want to work with the side chain, we can put it back compressing everything and we can use the mix parallel to put some of the unprocessed back in. Sounds absolutely brilliant. Love this thing. Now let's try this on the full mix and I've already got the settings for this and they're in the plugin so let's load them up. Let's have a little listen and see if we need to tweak this anymore. Slightly slower attack. Sounds great. Push it a little bit more, lower the threshold. And put some of the unprocessed back in.
So as I'm sure you'll agree, this thing sounds absolutely brilliant. I've been using it quite a bit recently for mastering. I've been using it a lot on drums as well. This thing is brilliant for fattening up drums. It's great for getting things sticking out of the mix or uh, yeah, the heavy force sound. You know, if you really want to squish something, it does it brilliantly. It sounds so musical. Now let's talk about this plugin over my shoulder. This is a free plugin that Tegla offer with this machine. It's not an emulation. Nope. What it actually does is enables users to recall the settings on this device in the digital domain. And you can also control the hardware via this plugin, which is very, very cool. So let's say you've got your settings for drums. You can save those settings in the plugin, which is amazing. And uh, yeah, make your own plugin preset, which is great. But it also means that if you've got this unit in a part of your studio and let's say a rack that may be at the back of the room you can still use this device in the sweet spot of your listening position which is fantastic so for recall really this isn't just efficient it's precision which uh, let's be honest is a very difficult thing to get when you're recalling settings on hardware devices sadly though it's not all good news i do have one little bugbear and that is with the manual i had a little problem setting this up to talk to the plugin. Now, we do this using Cat5 cable, plug it straight into the back of your computer. I thought it would be simple. Sadly, it wasn't. So I had to contact Tegla because the, uh, the literature didn't uh, offer any real assistance into getting that sorted. That said though, I did contact Tegla, gave them a phone call. They picked up, walked me through the whole process, took about three minutes, and they reassured me if I come across any issues with this or my Prem, I've got down in the rack, but they would help me and resolve any issues that I've got. So all I can say really is Tegla, their uh, customer service really is second to none. You buy their gear and you're not one of their customers. Uh, you really sort of become part of their family. Now we never really talk a lot about packaging because what's the point? It's usually a cardboard box and it goes in the bin, but this is definitely worth mentioning. Tegla ship their hardware units to you in these treasure chests and <laughs> they're absolutely brilliant it's a real moment when you take delivery of one of these units and you open up the lid of this beautifully handcrafted wooden crate and uh yeah your tegla's in there it's a real moment and i think it's brilliant it really shows that they care about end user experience and also making sure that the gear gets to you safely now let's talk about value for money this is about three and a half thousand euros, which sounds like a lot, I know. But remember, you're getting 11 different compressor modes here. You're getting precision recall. Really, this is a compressor Swiss Army knife. And uh, if you're in mastering or you're really serious about your mixing, you've got to check this out. I mean, for a similar price, you can buy one of these that you might see sitting in my rack. And, uh, as much as I love the LA-2A, it is a little bit of a one-trick pony. This isn't. So with all of that considered, I am awarding the Tegla Audio Shrewcraft Machine my first hardware Pro Tools Expert Editor's Choice Award. It really has captured my imagination. It's impressed me so much. I mean, I'm going to go as far as saying that like the LA-2A to us all, is a vintage piece of gear. I consider this to be a future classic. You know, in the next 30 years, we're gonna probably look back at this device and go, that changed things. That's the game changer. That was Genesis. I love this hybrid way of working with the plugin, with the hardware, vice versa. It's amazing. For more information on the Schreiercraft machine by Tegla Audio, do check out the Tegla Audio manufacturer website. I hope you guys got something from this. I'm Dan from Pro Tools Expert. And I'll see you again soon.